One of the few projects I've actually managed to complete is this little microcomputer. It's assembled from a 5-inch portable TV, a keyboard from an Ultratech assistive phone, an Arduino which does all the big processing oomph, and another Arduino that handles the video. It's all packaged in a case that I designed and had laser cut. This image is a little crooked. I think I'll fix it in editing. Inside you can see the main Arduino compatible board just hanging out. It's an Arduino Borduino, which is a Duomila Nove compatible DIY board. It is the main worker of this terminal. To the left is a genuine Uno with a video game shield from Wayne and Lane. It's running TV out, which keeps the screen bitmap in memory and sends a composite signal to the tube. This listens for serial commands from the worker Borduino and can parse not only text but bitmaps and basic shapes via an escape sequence. To the right is a RAM board. It originally had four 4K chips in it, but I managed to fry all of them. I replaced the first chip with a single 32K chip and it's working pretty well. It uses I2C to communicate with the worker Arduino. In the back is the TV's original controller board. It's intact, just carefully removed from its housing, put into this box and connected via a composite cable to the video card. I was mindful to discharge the flyback transformer whenever I work close to the tube because getting zapped with that really hurts. Also back there, uh, hard to see, is a DB9 connector for serial communication and a wall wart that converts the input power to 12 volts which split off the Arduinos and TV power. Now we'll give you a side profile view to show the veneer and power button. Around back is the DB9 serial connector and power cord. Speaking of the power button, let's turn it on. Turning it on, it runs a memory check before presenting a menu option. You can either run the 6502 emulator with embedded Tiny Basic, or Cosmocom, which makes Cosmotron run as a simple terminal. I add some basic text features to the TV out. You can see a text inversion and centering in this menu. Now I'll start up EH Basic. Uh, it asks for a file size. Uh, I'm putting 16,000. Uh, it's less than the 16K, but it's a good safe amount. And uh, now I will create the classic basic program, which will run on the 6502 chip emulation on the Arduino. And there you go, very original. You can see an indication of uh, the speed that it goes at. Pretty steady clip. And now I'll break this and we'll head out we'll I'll break I'll uh, I'll break this program and then um, hmm. let's now reboot into Cosmocom. I'm using Hub2Com on my Windows PC to forward a BBS on Telnet to the Cosmotron. I'll connect to level 29 BBS with it and immediately it will start sending its intro screen to the Cosmotron. From here on in I can communicate with my terminal. I'm just going to move the camera away while I enter in my super secret password so you don't see it. In the meantime, you can take a look at my Apple II knockoff. That's kind of working, kind of not. That will be a later project. And here we are. We're logged in. This is only kind of painful to read. And that's a Cosmotron. Be sure to like and subscribe for future videos on this and other quirky stuff. Um, and then do it again because sometimes things don't work the first time. And thanks for watching.